Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip. Today, we are going to take a peek at the week ahead here for Crypto.com, CroCoin, and talk a little bit about Binance. Look, guys, Binance Token and Crypto.com Token are going to be following a similar trajectory. When you really look at it, these two are big exchange tokens. Uh, I am personally a little bit more bullish on CroCoin for a couple reasons. One, because it's got such a lower market cap, and so there's a lot more upside just because of how much smaller it is than Binance at this point. Two, regulatory-wise, they have a lot more licensing access right now uh, globally compared to Binance. Recently, Binance had to shut down in the Netherlands. That being said, guys, we need to learn how to dispel the FUD against Binance, against Crypto.com, and we're going to take a look at a good example today about why FUD is FUD. Why fake news and lies from regulators, uh, we shouldn't even take that. We should take those with a grain of salt, right? Because until judges start coming out with any sort of decision to say whether or not those regulatory bodies that are attacking cryptocurrency are correct or incorrect, well, then it's all irrelevant. So in the meantime, you stick to your convictions, you do your research. Let's take a peek at the price ahead for CrowCoin. Look at some Binance and Crypto.com news today. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're doing five videos every single day for you guys. And at 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. That's happening on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you check that out, guys. That is on our live stream. Uh, the market cap today, $1.07 trillion. Bitcoin dominance at 48%. Ethereum dominance at 19.5. Uh, markets are a little bit boring. When you look at Crow right now, hanging in at rank number 35 at a $1.3 billion market cap, which, by the way, guys, just a couple months ago, this was at a $2 billion market cap. Uh, we've really been floating between $1.5 and $2 billion for a while now. A lot of the market's down ever since we were at 30 k Bitcoin. We've kind of come back down a little bit, but let's look at what's going on right now. Well, it seems like Bitcoin's wanting to bounce after the FOMC meeting that we recently had. Uh, they, they chose to keep the rates the same, that could be bullish. On top of that, though, they might want to raise the interest rates. I still think, guys, we want to head up. I think Bitcoin wants to head up. One thing I've been pointing to pretty specifically, guys, is the bounce off the trillion dollar threshold for Bitcoin's mar crypto's market cap overall. But when you look at the crow coin price, uh, we just closed a weekly candle earlier uh, tonight. And so this thing did close red. Uh, but now we are on a new weekly candle and we have to see what it wants to do. This candle is barely moving at all. It's currently green. We talk a lot about the FTX collapse, guys. This candle was that FTX collapse. I'm looking for us to get back up there uh, sooner rather than later. At the end of the day, you got to look at stories, guys, and you got to know what's fact and what's FUD. The FTX collapse, that was fact. But what about some of these other stories about Binance and Crypto.com? Well, for Binance, let's look at the most recent story about the commingling of funds and, and the potential money laundering with the funds that the SEC is saying about Binance US and Binance. Here is a quote from the court pushing back on the SEC. The quote is, similarly, you all repeat in the memo, that there's no evidence, absolutely no evidence of any dissipation of assets whatsoever. And the government at this point has said that they haven't seen the evidence of offshore, offshore transfers from Binance itself. Funds are Safu, guys. These are facts. The FUD you see in the news about the SEC and coming after Binance for money laundering, that's the FUD. There's FUD and then there's facts. The matter of fact is this, guys. CZ and Binance, they're going along business as usual. That's a very strong exchange. You look at the words that come out of Chris Marsliak's mouth, and he doesn't tweet a lot, but his most recent tweet was, ending and make no mistake, crypto industry will go through, get through this and emerge stronger than ever. We are in the then they fight you stage. They fight right now. Everybody's fighting crypto, the regulators, but they're lying and the courts are dismissing their claims. I am bullish on this asset class. We will see what happens for the price action ahead, guys. I'll tell you this, though. Bitcoin and crypto bouncing off trillion dollars, that looks pretty good to me. I'd like to see this move continue up. 
I'd like to see us eventually get past this $1.26 trillion. Who knows, guys? Maybe the month of July is going to be bullish. Actually, historically, since 2013, we've only had two red Julys. Every other July out of 10, eight out of 10 Julys have been bullish. So that gives me hope for a bullish July. Also, Bitcoin is bouncing off a pretty key level at 25200 and we're talking about BlackRock, guys. If Bitcoin and crypto goes up, I believe Crowcoin will go up as well. We need to see Crow get back above 12 cents. If we can see that, then I think we're going to continue to move up in a much bigger way. For this week, though, i just like to really see us kind of get back up above 6 cents. If we can get back up above 6 cents this week, uh, then I think, you know, we're getting in the right direction, moving into July. At the end of the day, guys, for the next really year, call it eight or nine months, you know, March of 2024 is the Bitcoin happening. I expect us to be on our way back up by that time. If not, at the very least, we start to go up in a significant way at least a month after that. It could be any stretch of time. Anybody who tells you exactly what's going to happen in the crypto markets and they think this is definitely going to happen, that person is lying to you. Run, guys. Nobody can predict the future. We can get some ideas based off some key levels. We look at some key levels for you guys every day here at the Crypto Report and talk about the stories that matter most to you to keep you guys in the know. That's all I got for you in this one, guys. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. I hope you had a wonderful Father's Day with your families. I hope if you're not with your families, I hope you got out and had some fun today. Enjoy the weekend. New week ahead. We'll keep you guys posted. Until the next one, guys, I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, you got a DCA hodl, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace.